Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Physio Trends. This is me Physio Prem Shah and today morning I asked you a question about cervical spine range of motion and the question goes something like that patient was referred to physiotherapist for complaining of uh, degenerative joint disease of cervical spine and patient complains that they have loss of cervical range of motion and also x-ray shows that there is degeneration in the unsinate process of the cervical spine. So what, which range of motion will be most affected? That is the question. Options given to us are flexion, rotation, extension, and side bending. Now first, let's understand what this unsinate processes are and what is the importance of it in the cervical spine. Because unsinate process, you will always see only in the cervical spine, which is also known as joints of Lushka. Yes, my dear friends. So these are the joints in which you, if you observe from the front view, back view, you will see that it is like a U shape. So the upper cervical spine will have convexity in the downward, which is fitted in the down cervical spine completely like this. And because of that, we will be able to see that it is covering mainly from the side to the joints. So it is providing actually security, I would say in such a way that it is providing stability to the joints. So this is the importance of this joints of Lushka or unsinate process. Now, as it is covering more from the side, if you observe flexion extension should not be much of the problem because what is happening when you're performing flexion and extension from the side, you have enough support and doesn't matter side if it is degenerated also in center, you can get proper movements in this joint. Though some range of motion will be affected, but mostly it will not be affected. Another one range of motion is rotation. So if I again say rotation, what is happening? The same uh, thing, just like flexion and extension. What is happening? The convex part is moving over concave part and unsinate process doesn't have to get involved much. So rotation also will be almost normal. But when it comes to side bending, as we can see over here, what is happening because the projections are upward like this, if that joint has got degenerated, what will happen performing side movements will be difficult because that will be more stiffer and that is why in this question uh, specifically the answer will be side bending which will be more affected in cases where degeneration of the uncinated process is present. So I really hope you understood this answer. It was very clear if you had known anatomy of it. Still, if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section. I will be very happy to answer this for you all. And also don't forget to subscribe Physio Trends and keep raising awareness about physiotherapy.